सी आई ई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंट्स ऑडियो बुक हेल्थ एंड फिजिकल एजुकेशन द टेक्स्ट बुक फॉर क्लास नाइन्थ चैप्टर फोर्टीन एडोलेसेंट फ्रेंडली हेल्थ सर्विसेज ए एफ एच एस पेज नंबर वन नाइन्टी फोर इंडिया इज द सेकेंड मोस्ट पॉप्युलर्स कंट्री इन द वर्ल्ड विद अ टोटल पॉप्युलेशन ऑफ ओवर 1.21 बिलियन अकॉर्डिंग टू द 2011 सेंसस एडोलेसेंट्स 10 टू 19 इयर्स कॉन्स्टिट्यूट ओवर वन फिफ्थ ऑफ द टोटल पॉप्युलेशन एंड देयर नंबर इज एस्टिमेटेड टू बी अबाउट 243 मिलियन दे रिप्रेजेंट अ रिसोर्स फॉर द फ्यूचर हुज पोटेंशियल नीड्स टू बी नर्चर्ड इन अ पॉजिटिव मैनर The adolescents are considered to be healthy as a group however they do have a range of health problems that cause a lot of morbidity as well as mortality in spite of specific health problems it is a common observation that the existing health services do not cater to the specific problems of adolescents moreover it is a challenge for the health sector to respond to their needs adequately by offering services in a friendly manner in a non threatening environment in this chapter an attempt has been made to discuss the health needs of adolescents the status of existing adolescent friendly health services and the manner in which these services can be made available to adolescents so that these can be adequately utilized by them now we have a figure on this page figure 14.1 it is titled visit to afhs in this figure we can see a lady doctor examining the pulse of a young girl behind the doctor we can see a poster of the digestive system and aids awareness is written on the second poster 14.2 health needs of adolescents as you have realized while going through the chapters growing up with confidence and diet for healthy living Adolescence is the most significant period in the life of human beings. It is imperative therefore that the needs of adolescents be recognized and met adequately. Their health needs are mentioned below. Number 1 Nutritional needs. As discussed in the previous chapters, many boys and girls enter adolescence undernourished, making them more vulnerable to diseases. The findings of the National Family Health Survey 3 in fhs3 indicate high percentage of anemia 56% of females and 25% of males in 15 to 24 age group were anemic page number 195 anemia affects physical growth cognitive development and performance in school and at work in later years anemic women are more prone to give birth to malnourished children with significant morbidity and mortality associated with both mother and child adequate nutrition and healthy eating habits and physical exercise at this age are foundations for good health in adulthood number 2 reproductive and sexual health needs the adolescents confront a number of reproductive and sexual health problems they hesitate to seek information from authentic sources as such issues are considered taboo in our society there is always a possibility of their practicing risky behavior thereby acquiring hiv and other sexually transmitted infections according to national aids control organization almost 50% of new hiv infections are taking place in 15 to 24 years age group narco 2005 the adolescent girls suffer due to a number of myths related to menstruation Early marriage is still a serious problem in many parts of the country. A substantial number of adolescent girls, mostly married girls, become pregnant and give birth to children below the legal age of marriage, which is 18 years. According to NFHS 3, 12% of married young women aged 15 to 19 have become mothers, and 4% of women aged 15 to 19 are currently pregnant with their first child. This means that one in six women in the age group 15 to 19 years begun childbearing. This phenomenon of early pregnancy adversely affects the health of both mothers and children and is the cause of mortality and morbidity among them. 
sexual harassment in public places, institutions of education, in and around a neighborhood and the workplace is a well-established fact. Child abuse, bullying and ragging are also common, more so among boys. Number 3. Mental Health Concerns It is estimated that at least 20% of youth experience some form of mental problems such as depression, mood disturbances, substance abuse, suicidal behavior, eating disorders, aggression, violence. Among 15 to 19 year olds, suicide is the second leading cause of death, followed by violence in the family and community. In fact, effective and sensitive care of adolescent victims of violence is needed as one of the priority measures. Number 4. Substance Abuse Tobacco and alcohol use among young people is emerging as a matter of concern. The projected number of drug abusers in India is about 3 million and most are in the age group of 16 to 35 years. UNODC 2003 Page number 196 Nearly 11% were introduced to cannabis before the age of 15 years and about 26% between the age of 16 to 20 years. UNODC and Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment 2004 Findings of NFHS3 show that in the age group of 15 to 19 years, 3.5% women and 28.6% men were using some kind of tobacco. Similarly, in this age group, 1% of women and 11% of men were consuming alcohol. Further, 6.8% women and 18.3% men were drinking about once a week. Number 5. Accidental Injuries Accidental injuries are a leading cause of death and disability in adolescents, of which road traffic injuries, drowning and burns are the most common. Injury rates among adolescents are the highest. Public education targeted at young people on how to avoid accidental injuries during driving and using road, drowning, burns and falls can reduce injuries. In order to address the above needs, adolescent-friendly health services have been developed. These adolescent-friendly health services have been designed specifically to attract them, meet their needs conveniently and retain them for continuing care. We have to take note of an important fact that adolescents are not a homogeneous group. Their situation varies with respect to age, sex, marital status, class, region and cultural context. This calls for interventions that are flexible and responsive to their needs. Activity time. We have another activity for you. Activity 14.1. Talk to your friends or classmates and make a report. If they are aware of adolescent friendly health services and if they have ever visited the place where such services are available. If they have visited what has been their experience and if they have not visited any, what are the reasons for not doing so? Now moving on with the chapter. 14.3 Adolescent Friendly Health Services AFHS What does this mean? As we have seen, the health needs of young people are special in many respects. Therefore, there is a need to establish special services for them. These services are called Adolescent Friendly Health Services, AFHS. They have a specialized approach for giving adolescents preventive, promotive and curative health care. These services are mostly run by the government and in them, diagnostic, treatment, counseling and other facilities related to health are offered for free or at a very minimal charge. Page number 197 14.4. Need for AFHS Specialized services are needed for adolescents because they are still in the developmental stage. They have a lot of concerns, apprehensions and lack of understanding regarding their own needs. The adolescents feel shy, embarrassed and hesitant in talking to adults, especially regarding matters that are personal. Most adolescents avoid seeking care and guidance. 
they feel more comfortable in discussing their problem and concerns with their peers who also do not have scientific knowledge. In view of this, separate adolescent friendly health services need to be provided. Such special clinics can take care of all the concerns of the adolescents in an ambience in which they can utilize services without any hesitation. 14.5. Why do adolescents hesitate in utilizing health services? In addition to some of the reasons cited above, think of the reasons as to why the adolescents do not avail the health services. In fact, they face constraints in seeking services due to barriers such as number 1. Myths and misconceptions related to the development of sexual and reproductive organs. Number 2. Lack of knowledge of the location of the health services or the kinds of services offered by them. Number 3. Adolescents are not able to go to clinics as their timings do not match their schedule. They cannot miss school and college classes to visit these clinics. Number 4. Lack of privacy and confidentiality in health clinics. Number 5. Long waiting period in the public health clinics. Number 6. Cannot afford the fee of the private setup. Number 7. No transport or means to go to these clinics, especially in rural areas. Moreover, they are unable to afford the cost of visiting these clinics. Number 8. Negative attitudes or judgmental behavior of nurse or doctor. Number 9. The routine hospitals do not entertain adolescents coming alone, especially when they have issues regarding sexual and reproductive health. Most hospitals require the parent to accompany them and or to give permission for any procedure or testing as per the legal requirement. 14.6. Where are AFHS located? Adolescent friendly health services are located at various places in hospitals and health centers or at other places. There are three major models of the location of such services. Fixed site models. Number one. Hospitals, both public and private, in urban areas. Number two, clinics and health centers in cities. Number three, primary health centers and other rural health centers, especially under NRHM, National Rural Health Mission, by the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, Government of India. Page number 198. Outreach models. Number one. School based or linked clinics. Number two, workplace clinics. Number three, satellite clinics. Number four, mobile clinics. Number five, departments associated with Ministry of Health and Family Welfare like National AIDS Control Organization, NACO, and Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports like Nehru Yuva Kendra, NYK. Adolescent services can also be delivered by number one, telephone helplines which have toll free, no charge numbers. Number two, call in radio talks. Number three, websites that answer questions by email. And number four, partnering with existing agencies that serve youth, like National Scout Association, NSS, National Service Scheme, etc. Now we have an activity for you. Activity 14.3 Find out the AFHS centers that are located near your school or home or in the district. Make a list of their addresses and contact numbers which can be useful to yourself and to your friends. Display this list on the board for the benefit of all. On the same page, we have another box for you. Box 14.1 It reads, Visit a website aeparc.org for information related to adolescence. 14.7 Characteristics of AFHS 14.7.1 Role of the staff working in the AFHS The Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, MOHFW, GOI, that is Government of India, is making efforts to train the staff at healthcare centres to deal with adolescents. In case you or any of your friends has any problem or is concerned about any issue, you should visit the AFHS center 
and discuss the same with the nurse or doctor available. The staff has now been adequately trained to handle adolescents' issues through discussion and counselling. The staff of Adolescent Friendly Health Centres is expected to show respect for adolescents. The staff needs to be non-judgmental and non-critical of the issues an adolescent comes to the clinic with, including issues regarding sexual and reproductive health. No importance of privacy and confidentiality. The trained staff should provide privacy in physical examination without any embarrassment. The doctors, nurses and other staff should not divulge information about the adolescent patient to the parents or acquaintances about what they came to the clinic for. They will need to tell parents only after informing the adolescent about the legal need or in view of protecting life and health of the adolescent. Page number 199 Spend adequate time and show lot of patience. The staff needs to be trained to give adequate time to make the adolescent feel comfortable to discuss all issues related to puberty such as body image, relationships and sexuality. Introduce adolescent to local peer educators. Most young people prefer talking with their peers about their personal and sensitive issues. Hence, peer educators are also introduced to the adolescents. 14.8 Special Services Rendered to Adolescents in the AFHS Special services provided by the AFHS to adolescents are Monitoring growth and development of adolescents and providing the required information about changes Promoting healthy diet to prevent malnutrition and obesity Encouraging adolescents to take missed vaccine doses for immunization Counsel them about the prevention of intentional injuries. Advise them against substance abuse. Counsel them on life skills related to sexual and reproductive health. And tell them about prevention of lifestyle diseases and other common diseases like STIs, AIDS, heart disease, diabetes and so on. We have another activity for you. Activity number 14.4 One of your friends is showing signs of depression. She or he comes to you for help. You ask if she or he would like to go to AFHS for help. She or he is not willing to go to AFHS. How will you convince her or him to go to AFHS? Write three arguments or counselling points that help you to convince your friend to go to AFHS. Now, moving on with the chapter. 14.9 Adolescents other than students who may need AFHS Being in school, you will be able to get information about AFHS. But there are certain sections of adolescents in the society who are at a higher risk, need special care and are difficult to reach as they are not in schools. These special categories of adolescents include Number 1. Street youth Number 2. Adolescents working in shops and other establishments Number 3. Domestic help Number 4. Youth in foster care Number 5. Institutional inmates in juvenile homes Number 6. Youth with special needs Having understood the importance of AFHS you should make efforts to make these adolescents aware of AFHS and help them access these services. AFHS are set up to meet the special needs of adolescents. Page number 200 You can go to the AFHS alone and receive services. Services are provided for you to understand all issues regarding puberty, maturity, growth and development, relationships, nutrition and matters related to reproductive health. You will be given all the necessary advice and treatment. The doctor will always respect your privacy and confidentiality. In certain situations where the parents need to be informed as per the requirement of the law or for your personal safety, the doctor will first inform you the need to tell the parents 
and then only with your cooperation inform your parents. One should not stigmatize a person going to an AFHS. In fact, he or she should be admired for awareness. Adolescents with special needs may seek guidance from a specialized center, which may not necessarily be only on sexual issues. Now, there is another activity for you. Activity 14.5 Number 1. Visit the nearby AFHS with your teachers. Discuss with the nurse or doctor the most common problems with which the adolescent boys and girls come to the center. Number 2. Does the staff ensure that privacy and confidentiality of adolescents is maintained? Write your findings in your diary. Number 3. Talk with some of the youth attending the AFHS and find out how useful these services are. Assessment Answer the following questions. Question number 1. Why are special health services needed for adolescents? Give four reasons. Number 2. What are the common barriers which prevent adolescents from using the health facilities? Question number 3. Explain the various health needs of adolescents. Question number 4. Reproductive and sexual health problems are the most difficult to share with the AFHS doctor. Why? Give at least three reasons. From questions 4 to 7, tick the options which you feel are correct. You may tick more than one option. Number 1. The adolescents do not go to hospital due to A. Lack of privacy B. Not sure of confidentiality C. Cannot afford fee D. Timings not suitable E. Don't feel comfortable Page number 201 2. An ideal facility for AFHS should A. Be away from the city B. Have convenient timings C. Maintain privacy and confidentiality D. Be near the villages 3. The staff in AFHS should A. Be specially trained staff who are able to understand the adolescent issues B. Be non-judgmental C. Respect adolescents D. Have a lot of patience and time to understand the adolescent problems 4. Special services delivered in AFHS are A. Sexual and reproductive health issues B. Nutrition counselling C. Treatment of cancer and acute diseases D. Prevention of substance abuse E. Eye operation F. Immunization G. Specially challenged youth 5. List the services which you would like to be addressed in the AFHS. A, B, C. Page number 202. Feedback Questionnaire. Textbook on Health and Physical Education Guide for Class 9. Please give your comments on the textbook by filling this feedback questionnaire. Please send the duly filled questionnaire to the undersigned. Department of Education in Social Sciences, NCERT, Sri Aurobindo Marg, New Delhi, 110016. While answering a question, if you find the space inadequate, please attach a separate sheet. All questions are meant both for teachers and students. You can provide your feedback in English or Hindi. Even parents, if desire, can respond. Teacher or student, or parent, whoever is filling the form, his or her name, school address, then number one, do you find the textbook easy to understand? Yes or no? Point out chapters or pages where the language is difficult to understand. Chapter number, page number and the lines. Three, do you think the content of the book is adequate to meet the requirements of the syllabus? Yes or no? 4.1. Point out chapters which are lengthy. 
Point two, point out chapters which are too sketchy. Number five, point out illustrations which are not helpful in understanding the content. Page number, illustration, caption. Page number two zero three, six, one. Point number one, certain practical activities and games have been suggested. How many activities and games have you undertaken in your class? Mention them. Two. What difficulties did you face in organizing these activities and games? Number three. Would you like to suggest any activity or activities? Mention these. Seven. Certain questions have been given in boxes in the text of chapters. One. Do you try to find out their answers? Yes or no. Two. Are these helpful in understanding the text of the chapter? Yes or no. Number three. Do you find these questions interesting? Yes or no. Eight. Eight point one. Do you find the exercises given at the end of each chapter in the textbook interesting? Yes or no. Point two. Point out the exercises which, according to you, should be modified. Page number. Exercise number. Nine. Point out the printing errors. If any, page or para number, and then write down the error. Ten. Any specific comments or suggestions for overall improvement of the textbook? You were just listening to this audio book. Narrator: Neeraj Yadav. Technical coordinator: Bati Langlingdo. Sound recordist: Mayank Kumar. Assistants in production: Ruchi Sharma. Directed and produced by Vimalesh Chaudhary. This audiobook is presented to you by CIET and CERT New Delhi India